I think we've got to be very careful on the laptop situation because, you know, if people do silly things on laptops, you'll have another ineffective security measure. But the danger and the problem is going to be, you know, there's a real issue of you can't put, take laptops off people and put them in the hold of an aircraft. You have too many lithium batteries now in the hold of an aircraft and you run a real risk of fire in the hold. So I think we've got to be careful. Um, but, you know, well, what's the answer and who should be paying for that answer in terms of the battery safer up in the seats? Uh, no, but they're not kind of they're not they're they, not they, jammed, they're in not one jammed place. together or in one place. Uh, you know, okay. there's a risk there. Oh, but I, there's two issues. There's, yeah. the, there's the lithium ion batteries themselves. And then there's somebody doing something much worse. No, but than it's just storing the them all in one place is dangerous too. That's what we. It's true, but I don't have a fix for you. You know, and we, we have we're still we, we we live in the airline industry with the legacy of you know duff security information. That's why well, we're still taking lipstick. You know, off women like it's a kind of. You know, what would it cost to do it right? <sighs> and what what does doing it right even mean? We really don't know what doing it right means because the terrorist threat keeps changing and keeps morphing. And therefore, as an industry, we spend literally billions every year. 100% uh, whole baggage screening, all bags, checked in bags. Well, you said as an industry, you pay. do you pay or do we pay? No, we pay. You pay. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, like, oh, not, not, ta not tax dollars. Well, in part. Europe, it's not tax dollars. We don't have a TSA in Europe. The airlines pay for everything in Europe. We pay for all the security. We pay for all of the airport infrastructure. Uh, the TSA, I think, is state subsidized over here. You don't pay for, your, uh, for ATC either. But so we pay. Ultimately, the consumer will pay. I think it will create. The difficulty is going to be if you're going to start uh, removing laptops or right. tablets, where's the, draw, where's the line between the smartphone and the tablet? And they say battery size. Uh, okay, give it the well, it's, a, it's a physical. No, but there's a physics story here, which is that if you, if you can actually put a bomb inside your your phone or a bomb inside a laptop, the bomb inside a laptop ostensibly should be more powerful. Yes, but I mean, in technically, if you're now going to ban the laptops, at what stage do you say, well, there's a smartphone that's that size, there's a smaller like. I think you're going to get into real trouble with people taking. I think people would be willing to travel without laptops and tablets. They won't be willing to travel without phones. And there has to be a balance in security. Like nothing is 100% secure. You're driving down the highway, it's not secure. You're in far more risk than you are flying. But with flying, you know, people, it's got to have, there's a balance to be struck between security and protecting people's security and having some kind of reasonable experience. Becky. Michael, before you go, an update on Brexit and, and how that may impact business. I really worry. I think Brexit's going to be a, is an impending disaster. It's quite clear the British have no idea what they're doing. Uh, in our industry, they're going to, it looks like they don't want to obey European Court of Justice rulings, which means they leave open skies. And there is no way, in my view, that Britain can negotiate a bilateral with Europe to allow flights to operate for in a 12 or 18 month period. We may well have a period of weeks or months after March 19 when there will be no flights to and from Britain. And this is the kind of crazy scenario we're dealing with. And you talk to British ministers, have you got a plan B? Uh, no. I mean, and the Europeans are absolutely four square going to do as much damage to Britain as they right. can for, to kind are of you poor, dis to, to disencourage anybody else leaving the European Union. You look Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.